Good evening Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Rich again back for your third and final video blog of the night for Thursday, September 4th, 2014 around 8 p.m. in Bellwicker, Massachusetts. Sun's going down, the crickets are chirping, and tomorrow's going to be another humid day. It's going to reach 90, could be the last time it reaches 90 this year because next week we're going into a weather pattern which is cooler than normal, which is around in the low 70s and I think we're going to have like I've been telling you it before an early fall and an early winter the leaves are falling down and it's got a little bit chilly and stuff like that some news to report Patriots quarterback Tom Brady missed practice today because he has a calf injury but he'll sh he should be ready by Sunday and also big poppy David Ortiz Red Sox designated hitter had two home runs tonight against the New York Yankees and he's moved past Adam Dunn and Jose Canseco on the all-time home run list. He's only two away from Dave Winfield. And he's five away from Chipper Jones on the all-time home run list. I wouldn't be surprised if he reaches um, Dave Winfield's mark soon. And he's climbing on the list. He, he's going to hit his 500 home run next year, barring some injuries and stuff. Okay? And that's about it on news. And my third and my, my fourth and final video blog subject of the night is about Hockey East. Hockey East is one of the top NCAA Division I men's and women's hockey league. And it's one of the best hockey leagues in college hockey. Very competitive. And many of the teams who compete in Hockey East usually do good, have great regular seasons. And then they represent the NCAA ice hockey tournament for both men's and women's and a lot of champions have came out of Hockey East over the years. It was formed in 1994, I mean 1984, when seven teams, Boston College, BU, Northeastern, UMass Lowell, Maine, New Hampshire and Providence College were chartered members. They broke off of a conference that's now known as the ECAC and the Hockey East mimicked the Big East Basketball League. And and they started to add teams. That, like in 1989, they added Merrimack College in North Andover, New Hampshire. I mean, Massachusetts, I mean. North Andover next to Andover, Massachusetts. And Andover, Massachusetts, where former Bill, Bill Arkham Memorial High School principal Dr. Shockey lives. And also, they added UMass Amherst in 1993, Vermont in 2005, and Notre Dame in 2013. Notre Dame is based in Indiana, so that's the first team out of New England, out of the New England region. And then 2014, they added UConn, so they have 12 teams in hockey, and there's no future plans to expand the Hockey East to 12, more than 12. And the Hockey East Championships are played every year. The semifinals and finals are played at TD Garden in Boston. And they usually have packed houses for that hockey tournament. And the first like couple of rounds of the Hockey East playoffs are on site of the, of the schools. And the home ice advantage goes to the school who has the better regular season record. And in, and in 2002, the Hockey East had a women, formed a women's division, and all all Hockey East schools except um, UMass Amherst, um, UMass Lowell, and Notre Dame have women's teams. All, all, all nine out of the 12 Hockey East schools has women's teams, and I wouldn't be surprised if, like, UMass Low has women's hockey in the near future. And all of these Hockey East games uh, have television contracts on regional sports networks. Nesson has the Hockey East package. They usually play it Friday nights during uh, Hockey East season, provided there's no Bruins games on a Friday night. Tom Cavan's the play-by-play -play announcer on these games. And also they have a national contract with NBCSN, which mainly shows Notre Dame games. And they show the Hockey East tournament, but 
the Hockey East Terminus is blacked out in New England because Nashson has the regional rights to it. And Hockey East is very, very competitive. All the schools in Hockey East usually have sellout games, especially with the conference rivals. Like BC, BU has a big rivalry in Hockey. They sell out consistently at the Conti Forum, where it's the Kelly Rink and Agnes and Gannis Arena. Also, UMass Low sells out the Sanga Center at a lot, and UMass Amherst sells out a lot, and Providence sells out a lot. I think the Pro Providence plays on campus, but they should really be playing at the Dunkin' Donuts Center. And U U Maine sells out big time up in Bangor, Maine, but there's talk that they might be playing a lot of their home games in the future in Portland because I heard something that Portland's going to build a new arena for the Portland Pirates of the AHL and they're going to try to get some um, select U Maine games down there. UMass, um, I mean, UNH has a great arena to win with a more center, but I'm surprised they don't play some games at the Verizon Wireless Arena in Manchester, and Vermont has sells out a lot, and UConn's going to be new, and they're going to play all the hockey games at the XL Center, and Notre Dame plays at like a, a rink, a hockey rink up that seats, seats 6,000, so college hockey is very, very big in New England. It's probably bigger than college football and even college basketball because the rivalries, especially on Friday and Saturday nights, you can't beat college hockey in New England. I think college hockey in New England is the equivalent of like college basketball in North Carolina and Kentucky and Kansas and the Midwest, and it's also the equivalent of college football in the Southeast. So, and college hockey is very getting to be more and more popular, and there's more and more like schools in non traditional hockey markets that are adding ice hockey to their school programs. And, and it wouldn't be surprised if, if, like, a lot of the southern schools add hockey to their programs in the near future. And Hockey East has had a lot of like alumni who played for them go on to the NHL and have great careers. So Hockey East is like a feeder system to the NHL and stuff. So uh, you should like in New England and Notre Dame, you should catch these Hockey East games, conference games. They're so competitive and stuff. And it's a good, it's a good bargain for the prices. It's only like maybe Good tickets at the Sanga Serena in Lowell's probably about 10, 15 bucks. And there's a lot of promotions during the hockey season when they have home games and stuff. So take advantage of them if you if you're in these areas of hockey east. It's the best deal in town, as Ted Sarandis says. Wow. Well, that's about it for tonight. I will be back tomorrow for at least three to six more video blogs, at least three, but if there's breaking news, I could do four or five or whatever. And some of the subjects tomorrow is like, I'm I might postpone on the on that list of the 10 ladies with the nicest legs in the world because, I, because it's just, who knows if I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not, but it will happen. And also two other subjects could be sports, could be anything. And I'll see you tomorrow, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. Good night, everybody, and great feedback. And if you want any shout outs, private message me, and I will shout it out to you. Okay, bye now.